you will take a guitar pick or a spudger and begin to pop loose the screen around the perimeter. Pry gently to avoid breaking any clips and work your way around. There is double-sided tape at the top, sides, and bottom of the screen bezel. You'll see the double-sided tape is holding on there. So double-sided tape in the locations of sides, top. All right, you will remove the LCD screen by removing the screw four screws at the top left and right and bottom left and right. The LCD screen will then tilt out and it will be connected at the bottom. You can lay it down against the bottom, remove the sticker gently that is covering the connector and remove the video connector with a spudger. Remove the damaged LCD screen and discard. Take your new LCD screen. This one happens to have a bent tab that was received in shipping, so I'm going to go ahead and straighten that. Get the connector in position. Push the connector onto the new screen. Make sure it's really secure. Then reapply the sticker just to hold it in place. We will then reapply the screen back to its original location and reinstall the four screws at the top and bottom of the screen. Okay, so we have a working screen, and I'm going to go ahead and reapply the bezel. So we're going to align it, and you'll feel it start to click in place somewhere, and then you're just going to work your way around. It is an optional step to reapply the double-sided tape, uh, new fresh double-sided tape to the sides and bottom. In this case, uh, I'm going to skip that step, but it would be easy to go back and do it if you decide to. So go just be gentle here. You don't want to break the plastic clips. I can feel one resisting here. So I'm just kind of lifting it up, replacing it until it wants to click into place. So don't push too hard. Everything should just kind of snap together. And then work your way across the bottom. Don't push. Uh, make sure to keep your finger out on the perimeter and not over the LCD screen. We don't want to repeat the same reason we just replaced the screen. Still snapping into place, just going to continue to work around the perimeter where the clips are. Still snapping so you don't hear any more snaps. I'm going to support this behind just a little bit so I don't flex the screen too hard. And that looks like we're done. So one more time. Then uh, we are done.